so last week we had this ex- experience oh, okay. where where I, um, uh, Levi Pike, who was um, a man I interviewed about the trucks disaster, he was one. When I started writing uh, Oil and Water, he was one of the three remaining survivors uh, of uh, of the the disaster. Now there's only one, Gary. and Levi just passed away two weeks ago. And you know, I met Levi a couple of times, and he was just a lovely, lovely, lovely man. And we, you know, and I, I wrote him into this play, and I called him when the play was happening, and said, you know, there's a character very, very loosely based on you, because I, I took some details you talked about, you know, when you met your wife, and some details you talked about when you worked in the mine, and so I, I put them into this character, and it just felt right to call him Levi, and and um, Levi was, you know, great, and he showed up opening night to see the show with all of his kids, and like they were all so proud, and it was just so moving to watch, and then. He passed away, uh, and and myself and Petrina Bromley, um, I, I knew I wanted to go down. Petrina Bromley, who, who played Violet in the show, wanted to come with me. Uh, and Mark Power, who actually played Levi in the show, wanted to as well, and he got called into work at the last minute and couldn't come. So we go and we sit right at the back of this packed church in St. Lawrence. It's a beautiful ceremony, and at the beginning of the, cer- the, the ceremony, um, they have a couple of family members get up and talk about Levi, which is great, because you know, you're not really allowed that oftentimes in religious ceremonies. And It's a full half hour, people talking and telling stories about Levi. And this nephew of his gets up, uh, and I don't know who this guy is, and he gets up and he's talking about, you know, growing up with his uncle Levi and, and, and moments they had when he was a kid. And then he tells this story, and myself and Petrina just grabbed each other and just lost it. He tells the story of, he ends his uh, eulogy by telling the story of going to see um, Oil and Water in Toronto and seeing his uncle Levi on stage and it being the proudest moment of his life. Well. Wow. I was going to ask you what, what one of your highs was, but that yeah. must have been incredible. It was. Um, it's not really a high, I guess. It's. It was a. It's a high, yeah. but it's a. It's a. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It was. Uh, it's certainly not why. I, it's certainly not why it's not I do. Yeah. It, is it affirming or? Is uh, it? It, it was. Um, it, it was just a, an incredibly potent reminder that um that that this work sometimes affects people um or can affect people in a way way beyond your knowledge right way beyond your knowledge and that this guy at a moment of um of losing his favorite uncle and having to compose a eulogy thought to think thought to to talk about a piece of art that i had a hand in um, I know it was not about me, obviously, right? I know that, but that 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 something I did um, was present enough in his head that he uh, that it was connected to his relationship with his uncle in that in that way, in that very special way is incredible to me. And I think that um, if that's going to happen without our knowledge, well, by God, we better bring it when we're making it. We better we better remember that that's possible, and we better we better honor that and and work towards that and. I think, I think. So Canadian theatre these days, um, uh, how do you feel about the Canadian theatre across the country? Uh, you know, I just spent two years uh, as uh, artistic associate with Magnetic North Festival. It's a festival that um, I have a long connection with and I dearly love. Um, and I, and I, I guess my, my, it's a horrible thing to say, but my two years have not made that any clearer to me. I've seen a lot of work across this country. I have so many, um, it's impossible to define for me, uh, Canadian theater and the, and the state of it, I guess. Um, I, th- I think, you know, I think uh, there's a tremendous amount of great work out there. And I think there's more and more work, um, more and more great work happening. I think there seems to be more and more infrastructure to allow um, newer writers to get in there and do that. I worry about um, I worry about some of the some of the writers. I worry about the climate of production, and I can't speak to specifics about this, but I worry about the climate of production in this country being such that um, that writers that should be seeing more productions or should be seeing first productions, new writers that should be getting attention. Uh, aren't getting it because um, there's a there's more of a kind of bottom line concern about what will sell. Uh, the, the, and then I don't that mean to to portray that as cowardice on the part of the artistic directors. That's not my intent. But just the realities of 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 the box office bottom line are there and are important. Um, and that the writers that 
um, the work that I really admire in this country and the new writing, certainly from the, the students I'm working with, but also other writers in the country um, that I really love, that uh, that I would like to see hit the stage. I, wor I worry sometimes that that the really the, some of the really brave stuff is getting overlooked. Um, I worry about that. But at the same time, um, at the same time, there's some tremendous stuff happening across this country. And I, I you know, and, and, and what, what used to be, um, what used to be for me, uh, you know, creating theater in Newfoundland and occasionally, occasionally encountering people uh, in the rest of Canada uh, has almost exclusively because of the Magnetic North Festival and my involvement with it has transitioned to a national community for me, oh, which is really, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I, I, I still strongly believe in that festival and what it does and what it's trying to do. Um, because I think that national community, that national conversation, that festival fosters is really, really great and really important. Um, I'm ever hopeful. Excellent way to end. <laughs> <laughs> ever hopeful. Ever hopeful. <laughs>